G'day Ajivaji crew, just a quick uh, video here to uh, let you know about a little problem with Windows 11. Uh, as you can see here in Windows Central, this is obviously not anything to do with ATS or ETS, but I thought I'd uh, put this video together because a few people requested it. Uh, warning you here in Windows Central saying that uh, the Windows 11 update with freaking drives is yours on the list. Okay, so um, there's reports suggest that Windows 11 update that number is causing some SSBs and HDDs to fail. In some cases, data is unrecoverable. Now, it's nothing too drastic to worry about. Let me just say that because they've done quite a bit of testing. I'm not going to read this article. If you want to read it, you'll find it on Windows Central and you can read it for yourself. But basically they did some testing here. You can see uh, Nakarazuki test 21 SSDs with a mix of Samsung, uh, WD, Seagate, Corsair, SK, Crucial, blah, 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 right? And they only found one that actually was completely unrecoverable. And you'll see here, there's a list here. Uh, and then down further, they talk about uh, Tom's hardware doing some testing and finding that these ones as well were affected, but not um, potentially fatal, if you know what I mean. They were recoverable, but they were affected. Now, the simplest way to do it is to find out whether or not you have the update on your uh, computer, and it is only Windows 11 that it's affecting. It's not affecting... Um... Oh, wait for it. I can't get notepad to come across where are you bear with me all right there we go okay so the the update numbers are these ones here kb5063878 or kb5062606 now this one is not on your standard windows 11 editions this has got to do with something else so, but if you have either of these ones, it is highly recommended that you uh, uninstall them. Now, a lot of people don't know how to do that, so I'll quickly show you how to do it. Again, this is just a quick video on how to uninstall these videos, uh, these uh, updates successfully without causing any problems, and I'll show you how to do that. So what you do is you go to Windows Update on your uh, computer, in Windows 11 which is in settings Windows update and then you will find here that you'll have update history uh, advanced options Windows inside of if you go to update history okay you'll see that it shows you all the updates and as you can see here I did have this one here um, but I have actually uninstalled it and to uninstall it, you come down the bottom here where it says uninstall updates. And then it gives you a list of the updates that you can uninstall. And all you do is simply find, again, like I say, find those numbers. If that one of those numbers is on your installed updates. Okay, again, check these numbers. If they are on your installed updates, all you do is simply click uninstall and follow the prompts. So again, in settings, you come to Windows Update, you go to Update History, and then down here to uninstall, find that number, the 5063878 or the other one. And if you have got it, click uninstall and follow the prompts. It's that simple. All right, so it's not hard to do. It doesn't affect your computer. It just simply rolls back your update until there is a further update that will fix it and apparently windows is actually working on an update to fix it as we speak at this very moment all right so there you go that's just a, a quick video on how to fix the update that may brick your ssd drivers and i definitely did it because i don't want to brick my brand new ssd drive all right guys hopefully that helped if it did We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.